Hello everybody, welcome to itscheaperthantherapy.com. Um, we are going to actually show you a really new um, die and we're gonna make just a really pretty card with it. We're gonna change it up just a little bit with some things. Um, first, we were the first ones to ever sell Sizzix in the world when they debuted in 2001. So we're really super excited and proud of that. Um, and so I wanted to show you a real nice array of products that we're using as well. We'll kind of go through all of those as we go along with making the card. Um, to get started, I like to just jump right on. But first, everybody tell us kind of like where you're from and how you're making doing. this card. It's basically, I just felt like it was about blessings. Um, there's been a lot of blessings in our lives. There's been a lot of things that have happened um, in almost the last two years for everybody. And it's a whole new new with everything. And you, you guys know the story. Um, but I wanted to just make a card. This is just how I felt with the colors that I felt and just blessings. That's just kind of like what we're doing. So let's get started on this. All right, this is the Tim Holtz die. There's six dies in it and I'll go over those. This one is called Festive Bouquet and the item is 665565. And it's beautiful. And up in this corner here, it shows you all of the dies that you get. Sometimes that's a little small to, to see. It also kind of shows you how to put it together, but it also does that on the front as well. And you can see what's beautiful about it is all the different layers that you can put to give it more dimension. And, um, you know, Sizzix and Tim Holtz have made that really, really easy for everybody. And so, um, you know, we just kind of wanted to go through all of that and show you the dies, so let's get started. So basically, what I did is I wanted to start off with, I wanted to do the gold and the silver and this kind of um, bronzy color. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Here, let me get the whole sheet up here for you. You probably can see that better. Let's get a little light on that. But it's got like a little gold tint in there and it's really, you know, it's hard to explain the color. It's like a dark brown with some gold in it. And I just really love that color. So this is going to be our card base um, um, that we're going to use. We're also, these are all metallics that we sell. These are, it's cheaper than therapy.com um, papers. And this is the gold and then a real light gold and then the silver. And you can see the shimmer that is in there and they, they cut really nice. Most of them are about a hundred pound um, cardstock, and so this one I believe is 65, and it's got a little bit more of that canvas weave in it um, texture. The other thing is we wanted to kind of go through the glue. Oh, let me grab the glue. This is the Sizzix Quick Drying Express Glue, and that's what we're using in our It's Cheaper Than Therapy glue bottles. Um, they have a really nice little tip. Uh, we're using that, and then we're also doing the uh, die brush and foam pad, the magnetic die brush and foam pad. So if you're having trouble picking up some of your little dies, oop, there it is. You can also find your dies under a stack of papers with this. So even when you buy this, it basically saves you tons of money just because you could find that one die so you don't have to buy another die set. You could buy out something else that's super fun. So we've got the tweezers and we've got the die picks. With, there's a Tim Holtz one and a white one. Um, we've got the cardstock. We're also, I've had a lot of people re asking about this. This is the um, Caddy from, from Sizzix. And you can put your cutting plates and everything in here and it expands out two more times size-wise in those little notches. So you can put your platforms and everything in there. And it has a little um, tape dispenser as well. These are the Sizzix, um, uh, the alcohol markers that are just sitting in there because when I need to have one, I have it right at my hand. And so that is, this attaches actually to the machine and I'm not really gonna cut on the machine to show you. So I'm not, don't have it here, but this sits really nice on the table and it's really sturdy. And so sometimes I take it off the machine, which is really easy, no tools necessary. But you can see here, snap on, store and go. And it does not fit every single machine. Um, so you wanna make sure that you have the proper machine that you know that it will work with, okay? So that is pretty darn cool. 
So you can see all the different, different ones there. Okay, so let's get started with this. We're gonna put some of these aside. The reason why you would have this tool here is when you're cutting these dies. So these are your six dies. This is the large poinsettia. And these are your little layers that you have. This is the center of the flower um, that you can see right into the center. Uh, this one is the smaller one. Same thing, it has the layers and the smaller one. So be careful when you cut that out that you're not throwing away something that you don't think that is part of the flower. And this being this one right there, that little guy right there, he, um, I couldn't find one, so I had to cut another one. So I'm not sure where he went to. He's probably stuck to something. There are other dyes in here. There's the holly, there's the berries. You know, there's another type of leaf, and then there's like the, the fern leaf. I'm just gonna use, I'm not using every single one of them like it is shown in here. I tend to kind of want it just to be kind of simple today and um, go with that. So let me put this away. The other dye that we're using is the It's Cheaper Than Therapy, the Sendiments. This one is the Blessings, but when I cut it, I only am going to need a, a very small section of it, so I didn't need to cut the whole entire thing, but that's where the Blessings um, comes from. I wanted to keep all the little pieces here um, just separately, and so I don't lose anything, so I put it on the black. This is an A2 size card that we're going to make. This is four and a quarter by five and a half, which is the A2. The gold here is actually what we use to cut the poinsettia out. I didn't want red. I just didn't want to go with red. And then the light gold, this here is three and three quarters by five. Cut down so you get a nice edging on there. I want to see a lot of that color. And then this one here with the silver is three and a half by four and three quarters is what size that is. And so that'll give it a nice little layer on here. And so what I'm going to do is just kind of, you know, adhere them down. But I wanted to put some little foam dots on the back of the light gold. And so I'm gonna do that now. I like to put a couple of a mint in the middle as well. And I'm gonna peel the little backings off. Then I'm going to layer it right on here. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of build the um, the flowers a little bit. Kind of want to see where I want to put my my flowers at. So I kind of want that up at the top. And the blessings are gonna go down here on the bottom. If you want to see what it all looks like while you're building it. So if you can tell if something's going to hang over the edge, you can too, like the words or something like that. You can even put blessings along the side if you wanted to. If you wanted to have a little bit more of a tag, you could have it going off on the corner a little bit. And we might do that. We might just do that on the corner a little bit. I'm just kind of, we're just kind of rolling with the punches on this today. And so I think I'm gonna go right off of the corner of this one right here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the little flowers first. That's gonna be the biggest thing. I'm not gonna do that on the cardstock. And so the the that's probably the hardest thing of them is just get a good pair of tweezers and get your adhesive. And um, one of the tips is that you can take this and kind of put a little bit on your part of your thumb a little bit. And so you just need to know which one you're working with. You can take the little piece here and you can kind of, you know, just dab it into the glue, into the adhesive. So you want to know which one that you're working with. So you can kind of spin it around and it's just like a little bit of a puzzle. And you can kind of see right where the little lines are because when the die cut cuts, you can see these don't pop out because they are designed so you know exactly where to puzzle piece everything. And so you could just turn it around and that's really great about it making it really easy of where you're layering it at. And I just wanted to make a different color flower. I just didn't want to do red today. I'm just gonna put just a tad more on. 
So you can do as many layers as you'd like. You can do different colors if you'd like. You could do the traditional colors. Um, see, look, all you gotta do is just turn it around. Look for the little holes or the points. And it just lines up perfectly. It just lines up perfectly. And this little guy right here in the middle, you just want to make sure. Oh, look at that. Lined it up just right. You know, like I said, I'm going to put this one out here. And you can kind of see what the different layers look like as well. Now we're going to go on to the, to the smaller flower. And you can use as little or as much as you like of that adhesive on your wrist. Here we go. And like I said, this is one of those little tiny pieces that you just don't know. You just kind of feel like it looked like something you may throw away. So be sure that you kind of understand your pieces and where they go. And when you cut them out, make sure they don't fall all over. This is a really pretty flower. It'd be beautiful in the reds and everything too. But I just, like I said, I just didn't wanna do the reds today. The other thing you wanna have a die pick for is for this. Poking out just your little middles or you could do that die brush and foam pad before you pop it out of the die. It sure helps with that, okay? So with the ferns and stuff with these little guys, I just really love this color and I just really wanted them in that color and not greens. So let's put this over here. We can kind of see where, I think we're gonna adhere that down. We're gonna use this glue. This is a great fast drying glue from Sizzix. Let's kind of push that out a little bit. I like that express glue. It's really nice. I just didn't want to pop that, that part of it. And so see, we're pretty much almost already, um, almost kind of done with it. You can kind of see where you want your flower, in which direction. You could even do more layers if you'd like. I think I'm gonna put that one off to the edge there. And I have it to where it's just kind of, let me put this little guy, stick him down a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is I want to pop dot my little flowers. And so that's something when you take a look at it and you see where you want to possibly, you know, maybe pop dot something. Maybe it wants to stick up just a little bit more than what you have. I don't know why, but I like using the die pick for this. Yeah, I like that. I like things just to pop up just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, we're gonna kind of take a peek here and see, kind of like him there. And we can have one here. And we don't necessarily have to do a third one if we don't want. But if we do, we can stick him down there just a little bit more. Okay, so this one is going to just kind of be hanging off of the edge just a little bit. So I'm not gonna put all of the adhesive all the way down on the fern. So I'm gonna just kinda, about right here, and just slide it down. That way you just kinda see a poke of them. And this one is pretty much gonna go 
almost all the way in there. Yeah, I want to kind of put it right up by that corner. So this, I just love this adhesive, but I just try not to put too much at one time on my wrist, but it sure just picks up. I don't seem to make a mess. I make a mess with adhesive. I will be honest with you. I make a mess with adhesive. And so this is a great way for me not to do that. And this one, it's not going to, it's going to do on most of it, except for that little tippy top. So just going to kind of press down, get a little bit of that adhesive where you want it. pretty it's pretty pretty and the same with the blessings with the blessings die you can cut it the whole it's about seven and a quarter inches tall and you can do the whole thing if you like if you want to just do a portion of it like this you can you don't have to always do them on the slimline type cards and see how it's kind of hanging off then all you have to do is take your little scissors and you can decide which part do you want it to hang off the silver or do you want it to hang off the gold? I think I'm going to go at it this way and this way. I'm going to try the gold one first. And I think that's just a beautiful card. So everybody, blessings to you all. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And... Um, looking forward to the holiday season and we hope you really enjoyed our card and uh, we've got a really fun um, special for you too thank you